is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw the Cheshire Cat in Photoshop. So, we're going to draw the face of the Cheshire Cat, and I'm going to just interpret the Cheshire Cat for you, um, and just show you the basic way to draw a cat face. So you're going to start with a circle, but then you're also going to have a little bit of this, so you're going to have like a circle and an oval. And then you're also going to have something kind of like this. It's going to look a little funny at first. I can promise you that. And so you're, it's basically circle, oval, triangle, and half oval. And make sure also when you're uh, sketching, you've got two colors. You've got a light color, a, like a blue or a red, whatever you want, and a black for your ink. And so the reason that we have these ovals on the outside is so that we can have this furry kind of look to this cat. So I'm going to add another layer, but not mess with it yet. And I'm going to draw a straight line down the face. And the way you draw a straight line is hold down shift and just draw your line and it'll be straight. And then I'm going to draw a couple across the face by doing the same thing. But make sure that when you're drawing your next line to, to have, you know, this for your eyes, you're not doing it like this. Because as you can see, immediately when I drew the second line, this little line kind of drew across. And sometimes um, that can be useful, but for what we're doing, that's not. So you're going to draw your line, you're going to make a dot in the corner, another dot down there, and then you're going to do that so that that little line doesn't show up. And that way you'll know where your eyes are going to go and where your nose is going to go. Okay, so now we've got this kind of weird looking shape. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my colors. And this little arrow, that's what that does. It switches your colors around so that now you can ink it. And we're going to, I'm going to start drawing my Cheshire Cat. And the Cheshire Cat's kind of fluffy. And I'm going to give him a kind of a Maine Coon look. Okay. So I'm going to teach you a little trick that I'm very fond of. Um, so I, when I push this little eyeball, it gets rid of my sketch. And I'm actually going to go up to the marquee tool, which is in your top left corner in your toolbar. And I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to go to my selection tool, or the move tool. And then I'm going to hold down control I'm sorry, option, and you see this little double arrow? It means that it's going to make a copy. So I'm going to just drag it across and make sure you're still holding down option. And then I'm going to go back to the marquee tool. I'm going to hold down control and click. And then I'm going to select free transform. And then I'm going to hold control and click again. And I'm going to say flip horizontal. And this is going to give me a vertical, a uh, horizontal flip. And then you can just place it right there, right next to the other one. And you say, you are going to want to apply your transformation. And normally, that's what this up here is, these little, these two, the, the symbols. You're going to want to click the check. And I forgot to do that. So it's going to remind you, if you want to apply your transformation, you just say apply. And then you've got your uh, transformation. OK, so now I'm going to put my sketch back, just so I can know where my eyes are and my nose. <clears throat> So I'm going to draw my quick little cat eye. And uh, I've a, I've, right now I'm going to change the size of my brush. And the way you can do this is go up when you have your brush and you just hold that down. And uh, you can select, like, I'll select three. So that way it's a little bit smaller. Just trace what you've drawn. My cats have really interesting eyes, so I'm going to... And we've got the Cheshire Cat, so he's got to look a little bit stranger than most cats. And one, th one thing that we have to remember about the Cheshire Cat is he's always smiling. And when you're drawing a cat, if you're going to draw a realistic looking Cheshire Cat, this can be a little tricky because cats don't really have the face to smile, if you know what I mean. So you can also do something like this where 
you don't have to have this part. And you can just have it so that it's more like this. And we'll give him a little beard or something. And then we've got the smile. And if you are a little uh, worried about not making it look uh, symmetrical, you can do exactly what we did before. You can hold down Option and drag it. So now you've got your copy, and then you can also just erase what, like, what, what you have here. And then you can take this, and you can free transform it like we did. And you apply your transformation. New Move Tool. We'll just add it right there. All right, so, so far we've got our sort of Cheshire Cat. Now we're gonna finish him up. I'll move, up, move his face a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna just keep copying things. I'm gonna copy his eye. Actually, I'm gonna first draw a little, a little line down the middle. That's what we did before. All right, and now for the last little touch, we have the nose. And some whiskers. And some eyebrows. And we'll add some teeth. All right, so now we've got this kind of spooky looking Cheshire Cat, and we're almost finished. And now, so as you probably know, the Cheshire Cat had some stripes. I'm gonna separate these eyes a little bit because they're a little too close together. And there you've got your basic Cheshire Cat face. My name is Alex, and this is how you draw a Cheshire Cat in Photoshop. Thank you.